Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we're going to cover creating custom view tags in Revit. This works for all versions. My name is Ken Colgan. I'm with CAD Tech Seminars, uh, also known as the BIM Guys or the BIMGuys.com. Check us out on the web for more videos like this. So, as I mentioned in this, this week we'll cover creating custom view tags. Uh, let's get started. So I'm going to jump to Revit here. And uh, in here you'll see this is just your standard Revit. It can be any version. I think I'm using 12 here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You'll see this is a title block, right? Now I got a title block. That's all good. And when I zoom in, you'll notice how this tag actually has a quarter inch underneath it. Now let's say I want to have one that says not to scale. You notice that certain ones, like over here, they don't even have information. So we can actually edit this like any block. The trick is we're going to scroll down here. Okay. Scroll down. And we come down here and we'll see we have families. And we scroll down a little bit further. And we have all this different stuff, right? We're going to go to annotation. Scroll down. You'll see it says view titles. View title. Okay. Now what we can do is we have view title. And we're going to go up top and we can create our own. Or you can go to drop this down drop an R down and we'll go to new family and then we will go to annotation and you'll see in here it says view title and we'll open that up now in the view title we have the ability to create our own view title in here so there it is now I'm gonna come in here and draw a little line so we can uh, draw some lines here and I'll draw a circle so it's doing its little thing, circle, and I place it here and I drag it, let's say like so. Now, I probably need to move it on over because that's where it ties in. Okay, so I'm going to move from, let's say, right here to right here. All right, now, let's say I just want to put some number in here. So we're going to go and just like any other family, we'll go to home and we'll go to a label and we'll place the label. And it says, what do we want here? Okay, I'll say maybe sheet number. Now let's go here, uh, detail number, we'll start with that. I hit OK, hit OK, and we put it in here. Now if you don't like the size or anything, that's fine. We can also go here and say I want you to be larger or smaller, depending on the size. But just for this example, I'll just keep it small. Okay, so that is the number. I'll hit Escape twice on this here to get out of that. Okay, we'll move it to where we need it to be. Alright, so that is the uh, that is the sheet number. Now if we want to put something else in here, we can actually go, actually go up top and again go to home and we will go to again label and we'll go here and place another one and you'll see it says detail let's say referencing detail or referencing sheet uh, that may be something to put in and we hit OK on that now on this one the question came up was how do I put not to scale well, we can actually just come in here I'm gonna go to home text and we come in here and we'll put in let's say NTS okay now all the text is a bit small so uh, let's go ahead and probably change our circle that's probably what we need to change that's eighth inch that's pretty good bring that circle down a bit alright move some things over alright there should have probably done a little test run on this beforehand but that's okay you'll get the idea so there that is and I'm gonna move it on over because you know, watch that point there that's important uh, how that all ties together I'll take my one I'm going to drag it where it needs to be. I'll take my reference, drag it where it needs to be, and I'll take the NTS and I'll drag it where it needs to be. Um, comma, like so. Okay, so we've created it. Now we're going to go to load in the project. It loads into the project, and then you're thinking, well, where is it, right? Well, what we do is it actually loaded down here. So if we go back to annotation, going down to the bottom, annotation and if you go to view references or view titles okay drop in here view titles actually I'm looking at view reference okay view references all right well hmm, should have been in there let's check it out um, I'm gonna grab this guy here and you'll notice it says this is viewport one now if I grab the viewport again you get viewport one now when I hit edit type you'll notice that it comes up it says what view title do you want to use so I can come in here and if I change it to family one because I didn't save it so I just gave it a family one I change it to family one. Now viewport one, okay. Now when I hit OK, now all of them are going to change. Notice they all change to our new tag, including that red text, which if you zoom in says remove this before you save, delete this dummy note before using. Okay. 
Uh, again, the concept is just to get this thing in. Now you'll notice they all change. Don't panic. Let me hit undo here. Okay. So hit undo one more time, and you'll see that now they're back to where they were. Now here's where it gets nice. We take the, the we grab the view here, right? Now at this time, I hit edit type, and I duplicate it. See viewport. Now I say this is viewport NTS. I hit OK. So now we have two viewport types. You could have duplicate viewport, maybe details. Okay. Uh, you have viewport perspectives, and we could create these different ones. Now, once you have one created, we we'll go to NTS, and we're going to use we're going to use that title that we had just created, Family One. We hit OK on that, and now you'll notice that this one just changes. Now we're not changing the tag. What we do is we change the viewport type. So when I grab the viewport type, it says viewport not to scale. When I grab this one, it says viewport, viewport one. So a good idea would be to make four or five different viewport styles. That viewport style, then you can set up different aspects about it under the edit type area, and then you can also uh, change the tags that they use. So that's how you have different tags for different views that do different things. So uh, not too complicated. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tip. Last thing I will do is I'll hit Control Tab just to see how you clean this thing up. We come in here, and you'll notice how the line didn't go through it, right? We'll do two things. First of all, I'll grab this element, and I'll pull it on over like so, right? Okay. We'll move this text on over. Again, not being too accurate here, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take this information, and I'm going to delete it. Now, load into the project. It's going to overwrite the existing one. You say We're going to say yes. We'll use the parameters also, and you'll see how it actually updates. So there we go. That's how you create your titles or view titles in Revit. Hopefully that was easy. If you have any questions, check us out on the web uh, at cadtechseminars.com, or you can ch check out at thebimguys.com. Thank you.